Sarah Shepard is the star of Beautiful, the Carol King musical, which is now in Chicago through November 7th. Uh, Sarah, congratulations on getting the, this lead role. I mean, what does it feel like to play Carol King? Oh my gosh. I mean, it's incredible. I mean, I get to sing all of those amazing songs. And then also I get to go on this amazing journey of her life from when she's 16 all the way through when Tapestry is sort of born. And uh, it's just an incredible ride to get to go on every night. Now you're in Chicago right now. What is, is there anything that you guys practice as far as like a backstage ritual before this show starts or anything that like you guys do as a, as a company? Oh, that's such a great question. Actually, no. I mean, people sort of trickle in when, when they want to get to the theater. And I think people sort of individually do their own thing. I tend to get there. I warm up. I pin curl my hair, do my makeup. Sometimes put on some music just to like relax a little bit, drink some tea. Um, but people sort of do their own thing before the show. Now let, let's talk about your history with with the with Carol King songs. I mean, tell me a little bit about growing up, Tapestry, Natural Woman, Beautiful, like some of the songs that like really touched you as a kid that like you're so excited to to be able to sing on stage as an adult. Yeah. I mean, I it wasn't honestly until we were because I was a part of the Broadway company from the beginning. And it, it really wasn't until I was in rehearsals that I realized that she wrote a bunch of those songs. Not so much Natural Woman. I did know that she wrote that, that Aretha sang. Um, but I mean, it, it's absolutely incredible. And it's incredible that she wrote for these, for other artists too. And then obviously uh, the whole Tapestry album. I mean, um, and I also knew some of her songs from James Taylor, like You've Got a Friend. Um, but I, you know, it was later in life that I realized that she wrote that. So, and that happened so much to me. I like, I think about the locomotion when we were putting that in the show and I had no idea she wrote the locomotion, <laughs> um, but it's just hit after hit after hit. So obviously the, the show originated with Jesse Mueller from Chicagoland. Her sister, Abby was also in the, in that lead role as well too. What was it like to be, you know, on this tour, especially since the beginning with those two ladies, uh, with such strong Chicago connections? I mean, yeah, it was amazing. I got to watch Jesse really kind of figure out what this piece was, you know, from from scratch. I mean, there were some obviously versions of the script, but she was real a huge part of building this role and watching her. I mean, it was like an acting lesson every time I got to sit out in front and watch the show. It was she was absolutely incredible. And then when we found out Abby was doing the tour, we were like, oh, my God, this is incredible incredible and like what's you know what are they drinking out in the water out there in Illinois like they're so talented um and they're just such wonderful humans like it was just like it was just a wonderful experience to be with them um through all of this now let's talk a little bit because I know when we have these jukebox musicals whether you know it's celebrating the music of, of Frankie Valley or Carol King or any of the you know the multiple people that are doing that like I'll look around sometimes with some of those most popular songs and you'll see people in the audience humming along, like singing, almost like they're at a concert. Do you witness that on stage as far as like when you're trying to sing a particular song and people are out there, you know, jamming as well too? Um, Not so much. Usually I hear it like afterwards, people are like, oh, wow, those ladies were really singing along. I don't tend to hear it a whole lot, which luckily is, is good because I feel that could be slightly distracting, <laughs> but I'm glad that people are having a good time. But we do, I do usually hear though, when, um, uh, the response, when I sit down to sing, we used to love me tomorrow for the first time. And they hear that first line and that chord, the whole audience usually goes, Oh, like it, they just recognize it immediately. And same thing, it's actually been happening the last two nights on It's Too Late. I get applause right when I start the intro, which is so cool because it's like they are immediately like, oh, they know Tapestry's coming. Like, here we go. Final thing, anything you're looking forward to doing in Chicagoland during your time off? I know you're only here for a limited amount of time, but anything you're trying to squeeze in? Some deep dish pizza, maybe? Definitely deep dish pizza. I mean, I need to eat my way through the city. So I'm going to find time to like hit the good restaurants. Um, I did go on the the shoreline architecture tour, um, which I thought was so cool on the river. I loved that. And we went, um, my boyfriend and I went to the field museum as well, which was awesome. I've never been there. Um, 
So now, now it's time to like eat though. I, I, I need to get to the pizza spot. <laughs> yeah. Pizza and hot dogs. If, you know, if, if, uh, if you get a free moment yeah. or after the show, definitely, you know, two of the things that, that we're known for Sarah, congratulations yes. on this lead role. Thank you so much for your time today. Beautiful. The Carol King musical in Chicagoland at the CIBC theater, 18 West Monroe through Sunday, go ahead and check them out. Broadwayandchicago.com is where you can go ahead and get your tickets and, uh, have a great time tonight. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me.